In the last episode, we saw that Xiao Yi Shen was sick from a disease. So Xiao Yan decided to take care of her, but she left thinking that he would not be fully able to train if he was taking care of her. After she went away, Xiao Yan promised that whenever he met her, he would cure her no matter what. He got more motivated on practicing, and achieved a new level but he needed to go to a desert. In order to go to the desert he needed an animal so he went to the alchemist association to get the animal and some materials for himself. He impressed the two judges through his skills that he had acquired from his master and the judges agree to give him the materials. Will Xiao Yan get the materials from the judges, or will the judges turn evil and try to take his power? Judges are just giving him the materials, but the disciples don't let them. It will be revealed momentarily in this video, so watch until the end and not miss a single part. At the beginning of this episode, we see the judges taking Xiao Yan in their library to give him the materials that he asked for. But they cannot find the ice spirit cold fountain. Master Ao Tuo, after some time, secretly takes Xiao Yan to a very unusual place. This place is a treasure collector's house. Master Ao Tuo knows that this collector has the ice spirit cold fountain so they both go inside, but the house is like a maze. There is a trap in every corner of the house. Wherever they set foot in that house they have to fight something because there were magical things and creatures all over the place. When they went upstairs, after all the traps they saw a very skinny weird man named Gu Te. Xiao Yan sees all kinds of treasures in the room where he sees Gu Te. He asks Gu Te about the ice spirit cold fountain. Gu Te asks, why he would just give that precious ice spirit cold fountain to him for free. Xiao Yan asks him to make a trade with him, and take his purple essence in return for the ice cold spirit fountain. Gu Te is very shocked, as the purple essence is very expensive and rare compared to the ice spirit cold fountain. Gu Te immediately makes the trade. Xiao Yan now has the materials he needed because he got the rank 3 core from the alchemist association. Then he leaves Gu Te's house. After getting the materials, Xiao Yan now sees that there is an old man who is with a girl. This old man is abusing innocent people for no reason. With the old man, his minion is also abusing innocent people. When Xiao Yan sees this, he cannot just stand there. So he tries to stop them, but Master Ao Tuo and her disciple walk in. Xiao Yan does nothing to the old man and his minion and starts talking to Master Ao Tuo and his disciple. She is very impressed by Xiao Yan, she even hugs him. After that, Master Fu Lan approaches Xiao Yan and tells him about the alchemist event that will happen six months from now, and gives Xiao Yan an invitation to that event. Xiao Yan happily accepts the invitation. Master Ao Tuo arranges a special airline in which Xiao Shen travels back home. Xiao Yan says thanks to everyone, and then leaves through the airline that Master Ao Tuo arranged for him. Inside the boat, that Master Ao Tuo arranged was the same old man and his minion, who were hurting innocent people in front of Xiao Yan moments ago. Now, Xiao Yan has all the ingredients that he needed in order to make a pill that will help him to swallow the rest of fire essence. The pill was not just an ordinary pill, it was a rank 4 pill. So now Xiao Yan asks his master to make that extraordinary pill for him. The master agrees to make the pill, but gives Xiao Yan a warning that the pill he is about to make is a very strong. And that they need to be very careful while making this. Because many people will come looking for this pill after it is made. Now the master starts making the highly complex pill. It takes the master two days to make that pill. After two days, they finally make the pill but when the master finishes making it, the pill produces a very big energy wave. Lots of energy waves come out of the boat and into the air. All the people in the boat notice this strange energy wave produced by the pill. Everyone gets curious about what Xiao Yan and his master are doing in their room. Everyone assumes that they are making some kind of very dangerous medicine. When the old man with his minion and master Fu Lan are coming towards their room, the master orders Xiao Yan to go out and guard their room. At the same time, the master is giving some finishing touches to the pill. Then, the old man with his minion and master Fu Lan go to their room to find out what happened. They see Xiao Yan guarding the door. They ask Xiao Yan to move out of the way to let them see what they are doing in their room, but Xiao Yan refuses to let them in the room, even when master Fu Lan tells him, that whatever they are doing may be a danger to the boat and they might crash, but Xiao Yan still refuses, and they start to fight each other. When Xiao Yan is distracted while fighting the minion, the old man takes this opportunity and goes straight in the room where he sees the master working on the pill, as he is almost finished. The master does not like this kind of behavior from the old man, the master grabs the old man to take him out and kills him in front of everyone with such brutality, that even the old man's corpse disintegrates and turns into ashes. Everyone stops fighting and gets scared by the strength of the master. Xiao Yan realizes how strong and brutal the rank 4 pill can be. 
Now Master Fu Lan sees that he cannot fight his way out of this situation, so he tells the minion to attack Xiao Yan. But just as the minion is about to attack Xiao Yan Master Fu Lan stabs the minion in the back with a sharp knife. The minion drops dead right there and Master Fu Lan proves, that he does not want to hurt Xiao Yan. Of course, this was a trick, and the master knew about this. The master said that if you try to save a drowning scorpion, the scorpion will try to sting you afterward. Fu Lan understood that the master knows that he was trying to trick them, so Fu Lan blows up the entire boat and the whole boat goes down from the sky and crashes. But Xiao Yan and his master were lucky enough that they crashed right in the desert, that Xiao Yan was trying to go to at the first place, so Xiao Yan and his master decide to spend the entire night there, but there are many dangerous animals. It was not safe for them to sleep there but Xiao Yan killed a snake and all the other animals, and they finally slept. Xiao Yan slept and had a very mysterious dream in which he saw a woman standing far from him. When Xiao Yan goes close to her, he finds out that she was Yunji. He gets very happy to see her because he never got a chance to thank her when she saved his life while fighting Mushe, by giving him purple wings. Xiao Yan puts his hand on her shoulder and when she turns around she is not Yunji, but she is Na Lan who immediately stabs Xiao Yan. Instantly Xiao Yan wakes up and tells his master about this nightmare, his master tells him to stay motivated and trust himself. Xiao Yan woke up the next day, traveled through the island, found a shop of maps and went inside the shop. Inside the shop, Xiao Yan saw a tiny piece of paper, which was a map showing the way to a special kind of fire, called the purifying lotus demon flame. Xiao Yan wants to find this new flame so he asks the shopkeeper where the rest of the map is. The shopkeeper directly refuses him and tells him to put back the piece of the map that he found, but Xiao Yan puts a very high price for it. The shopkeeper still refuses and gets angry. The shopkeeper closes the exit gate with his powers and gets ready to fight him, which shows that the shopkeeper is also powerful. Xiao Yan gets ready to fight him, and that is where the episode ends. To know what happens next, stay tuned to get our next videos. Stay safe, keep watching.